someone in a French show. Yes, will be my eighty. Because of the years you have a JD at the Maya. You talk into Fonzie. Oh, dear, Bonnie, I check. Oh, I say, I bet now. Oh, yeah, cool. So sorry, oh, yeah, cool. To so not only did Jesus forgive us our sins, but he forgave our sins and came and dwelt in us. Isn't that amazing? Jesus, who knew no sin? His sinless life, we don't want to talk about it. Someone. There shouldn't be any limit. I 
as Christians, as believers, when people wrong us, there shouldn't be any limit to which those sins should be forgiven. <coughs> Rather, Jesus' intent was that for Peter to understand the truth that the spirit of forgiveness knows no limit. Tell the brother or your sister that forgiveness knows no limit. Forgiveness should know no limit. What do we realize over here? Forgiveness is a matter of the heart and not the mind. Forgiveness should come from within us. Our minds rather try to what? Take records of wrong things, of bad things people have done, you know, against us. But the heart that is filled with the spirit of forgiveness, the heart that is filled with the spirit of forgiveness can let go no matter how numerous or serious those offenses are. So the offenses can be as many as what? But if we have a heart, and that heart is a heart filled with the spirit of God, you will know no limit of any wrong. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. And it was not unusual in the olden days for kings to bring up their accounts 